Today, I'm going to talk about a very hot topic in China. Before I start my presentation, let me show you a few pictures. What do you think are they doing? They look quite nervous. They are excited. What are they looking for? There is one event, the most significant event in China. For most Chinese people, this can change their life totally. This is the turning point of their life. This is the NCEE, the National College Entrance Examination. This is an entrance examination for the university, quite similar to the SAT, but it is the only judging standard for the Chinese candidates for the university to decide whether they want the students or not. It is so important that some people even to start to prepare, prepare for this exam at such young age. We only got 7,000 days left. Be careful. So, to time, if you search on the internet, you will find another hot topic related to the NCEE. The high school students, during the second year, will decide whether they want to study arts or science in the future in the university. So I found this on the internet. Many people are discussing whether it's better to study arts or it's better to study science. Actually, people back into the Asian time don't have such concerns because back into Asian time, we only have the imperial examination. Imperial examination established in 605 Sui Dynasty has been the only way for one to improve their social status until 1905. Before the appearance of systematic science class, candidates only learn about literature, ideology of Confucius culture, and writing skills. When it came to the imperial examination, the candidates were given of certain topics, and they were asked to write an article making comments on such social problems. Those who showed so-called management skills would be chosen by the emperor and change their social status. Being influenced by the ideology of Confucius culture, China's people has always which means to put cultural achievements before military. People were remembered for their amazing writing skills. That has led to the, the various textiles flourished. In Han Dynasty, we have poems. In Song Dynasty, we have Tsi poetry. In Yuan Dynasty, we have operas, and in Ming and Qing, we have novels. Those works glamour lives on and on. And if you ask a primary, primary school student who is Li Bai, no one would say, I don't know, because he is so famous. Compared to the long history of, of literature, science are relatively new. First appeared in the 20th century, but it quickly took over the status of arts in Chinese people's life, in mind. People seem to value those scientific theories more than arts. This could be proved by the famous sentence in China. One who is good at science survives everywhere. In Chinese it is 学好理书法, That reminded me of my own experience back into my primary school. My democratic parents told me that never ever choose art, don't be an art student in the university. I don't know why, and this was further proved by my high school. When I entered my high school, I got a few more courses like economics, business management, and computer science. But to my surprise, we dropped Chinese literature after the first year. Hang on, does that mean we can already use our language well? Many of us have many of us heard complaints from our Chinese teacher of our poor grammars, of our vocabulary, of our ignorance of literature work. However, students still don't pay enough attention to their art study. They would rather spend one hour on mathematics problems than pra practice their writing and read reading articles. This situation does not only occur at international high school, it also occurs at traditional Chinese high school especially among those who are applying for the university, who will take those entrance examinations for the university. 
One university did a survey and found that 90% of their, of their undergraduates graded their writing skills below the standard level. That's quite amazing for undergraduate students. At this time, let's ask ourselves a question. Why students pay less attention to arts? Who is responsible for that? I came up with three main factors. The first one is the exam system. The second one, the college, the university. And the, sec the third one, the social stereotypes. Now let's talk about the first one, the exam system. I think the exam system are forcing our students to pay more attention to science. For many provinces, the total score of our NCEE entrance examination was 750. But Chinese language only took 150. Or the later it was improved to 180. The rest are still for mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, and so on. If you are a student, which, what, what kind of extra class would you prefer to improve your total score of the NCEE? Right? Many of them took extra classes in physics and chemistry and, and mathematics, but few of them choose Chinese literature. And the second one, show me these diagrams. In 2017, the number of arts candidates who were accepted by the key university was only one third of the science candidates. That's quite amazing. If you want to and if you want to enter a key university, so called in China, you you would you would definitely choose science courses. And last but not least, the social problem, the social stereotypes. In China, those students who cannot study mathematics well are considered to be not so smart. And for a long time, arts majors are considered to be girls majors. That has led to this picture, which I took from my cousin's high school. Pay attention, the, these four guys wearing blue, pink, green, and red are the only four boys in their arts classes for the whole campus. I thought that, that's, you know, that high school is a big one, but these four guys are the only four boys at the arts class. I don't know, but if I were a boy, I would rather to go to the arts class for the rest of my classmates or all girls. After we look at these three main factors, let, let me tell you the news. In 2018, many provinces announced that they will cancel the division between arts class and science class and made their art students and science students learn the same course. But do you think this would be an effective way to improve this, so to change so this current situation? I don't know. But the only thing I know is that being an art student doesn't necessarily mean you are not as smart as a science student. Thank you.